Yo, what's up guys, welcome again to another Clash Royale video and today I'm gonna be ranting on the Clash Royale tournament. If you do have 5 minutes of your life to waste and if you wanna hear uh, to me a rambling and just shit talking about Supercell, you have come to the right place. So sit back, grab your popcorn and let's get started. So, the tournaments, a very big topic, everybody wanted the tournaments in the game for so long, they actually did it in the last update, but in my opinion, not only in my opinion, most of the people think, and they are right, that it was not introduced to the game in the right way. And you know what ruined it? It was that Supercell had the passion and will always have the passion to make as much money as possible, alright? So, as you can see over here, some tournaments, okay, this is affordable, this is $5, this is $10, those tournaments are affordable, alright? But those tournaments, in the end, the nice ones, the dope ones, with the awesome prizes, like 15,000 uh, cards, that's a dope prize, cost 250,000 gems, which is about... $1800 worth of items cards. Crazy shit, no one will ever fucking do that. Only YouTubers are supposed to do that, right? That get the gems from all those services they use. But I'm gonna get into that topic in a few seconds. So the reason we don't see many tournaments is because they're massive cost. And the fact that only one person pays for the tournament and the rest of the people can join for free and get prizes for free, that is stupid. Like. Uh, many people, like, if the uh, tournament consists of 100 people, like this one, every single one of those 100 people should contribute even a few gems to actually gather all the gems and start the tournament. Because it's fucking retarded for one player to actually pay for the entire tournament and then everybody play for free. Like, nobody is gonna fucking organize a tournament. Like, okay, you may organize the small tournaments, but no one is gonna fucking create this tournament over there, which is over $1,800 worth of items cards. Like, you can see the tournaments now are not that popular, because when tournaments were introduced to the game, this list would go way down, like there were unstoppable tournaments. You could see tournaments all the time. But now it's fucking empty, no one is hosting tournaments. They're bored of them. Okay, it was fun to host a 500 gem tournament. It's not that much money. I have hosted like three or four, I don't remember, for my subscribers. It was fun for the first week, but now tournaments are kinda dead. And I wanna get to the topic about YouTubers. So, you know, Chief Pat, Nick at Night, Molt, Gallon. I'm talking about all those people above a million subscribers, which means they do have quite a lot of money in the bank, right? You cannot have 1 million subscribers and don't have money. And what I'm trying to say is that those people that actually do have the money, they even get gems from services they use. Uh, you know, that does the free gems videos from Cash for Apps, Grab Points, all the services they provide them with gems. And they do not organize tournament. I, I want to give props only to Galadon. He's hosting uh, consistently tournaments since the launch of the tournaments. He is a great guy. And very, very, very big congratulations to Clash With Us. Now, this guy has around 170,000 subscribers, I think. He's not doing YouTube full time like all the other guys, like Mole, Chief Pat, etc. And he does have a real life job, I believe. Of course, he's not getting that much money from YouTube, he only has 150,000 subscribers, you cannot make a living out of that. But, he is creating a tournament every day, daily, I see him posting it on Twitter and the password for his subscribers. That is dedication. So yeah, those two big YouTubers, only Galadon and uh, Clash with us actually organize tournament. I've never seen Molt host a tournament for fuck's sake, Molt. Really, I've not seen him host the tournament. I don't know if he has hosted one or two in live streams and shit, but I've never personally seen him host the tournament. And fucking Chief Pat just made a rant on the game, shit talking about Supercell, that they do not introduce the, the tournaments in the right way, but he's not fucking creating tournaments for his subscribers. Because that was the idea. When the tournaments were introduced for about two weeks, um, Supercell, I think, provided the gems to the YouTubers to actually host the tournaments to advertise them. But since then, Nobody's fucking hosting tournaments. Okay, they're not obliged to actually host tournaments, even if they don't want to. But if they are not gonna host any tournaments, who the hell is supposed to host tournaments? So, hopefully Supercell does something about the tournaments. I know they have said uh, in a previous post that they're gonna uh, look 
into the tournaments and actually uh, improve them. So make sure you let me know down in the comments below what do you think of the tournaments and if this was the right way to be introduced into the game. Because let's be honest, the tournaments are the fucking great idea for the game. But as always, make sure you drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And see ya in the next one. Game and I'm still the same and I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing, yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion, bitch, I'm ballin', ballin'. I made a promise to my mama, I'ma turn